Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I want to show you how to add an element scroll navigation to your WordPress or Elementor website for free. It is going to look something like this whereby it is actually a full page and then you can scroll through the different sections of your website. Now this can be like a single page website whereby it has a navigation over here and someone just scrolls through the different sections just within one static screen and they see the content of your website. Now let's dive straight in and get started. The very number one thing we are going to do is simply to go to plugins and we are going to add a new plugin and that plugin is called HTMega add-ons for Elementor. So by making a simple search here of HTMega, it will show up right here in the search results and we will be in position to install and activate. At the moment I have it activated. Once it's activated, it will show up right here in the dashboard menu and simply click over there and then you'll come right here and look for something called the scroll element. This is the scroll navigation and make sure it is enabled. Once it's enabled, simply hit the save changes option and that means that you'll be in position to access this element within your Elementor editor. The next thing you have to do is simply to open up any page with Elementor and at the moment I already have my pages opened up right here in Elementor. So far I've already created these sections. There is a section here this section here now this is not full page scroll but we have the other one which is a full page scroll see this see that and the other thing you have to know is that this is a custom section for the scroll element navigation and this is based on the elementor template so you can simply create templates with elementor and have them and have them as section scrolls or element scrolls in your elementor website then here what i had to do was simply to add a new section and then you come over here to the widgets area and search for scroll navigation. Then once it shows up here, then you simply drag the element into your editor. Now here you'll have the first item and this item is the item where it, which is a custom item. And in this case, you can even add images. For example, I can say add a media and I can add any image of my choice from here. Let me say this one Then I will insert that into this section and then I can add as much text as I want. So this can be your section content and you can make any changes to this section as you want. The other thing is that I can simply duplicate this same item and down here I can make changes by probably changing the image by adding a new other media icon, for example this one and I have this other section. Now it means I have two sections, which is the first item and the next item. Then I'm going to add another one. And here I am also going to add content over there. And then I'm going to add another image. Let me say this is the image I want to use. Then I can simply add content right in here. And then that means I have my custom scroll navigation items created in my custom section right here now i can make changes to the slide options for example here the active icon is in white so i'll simply come over here to the style and then i'll come over here to that pagination and here i'll come to the active icon come to the background type i'm going to change that to a color so i'm switching it to something like maybe this one okay and for the normal, you can also change it to any color that you want. Let me see. Maybe something like that. And that means that you have your custom section already enabled. Now, once I update this, I come here to my preview page. I'm going to scroll down to our section that we just created, which is this section. Now you see the colors are different. Now this is a custom section that I just created. I added images and I can scroll just within that section. Now you realize that the page is not scrolling. I'm basically navigating just within this custom section. Now in case you don't want to use the custom section, which I think is a little bit also tricky, you can create your templates with Elementor like I've earlier said. And how does that work? I'm simply going to add a new section here and then I come over here to my element and I'm going to add a scroll navigation drag it over here and then here on the first item I'm going to change the content source to Elementor and here it will ask me to choose a template that I want to show in this content source in this case I'm going to choose one template here and boom my template is showing up right here now how do I know which template is going to show up in the first item or in the second item 
The first thing you have to do of course is to come over here to the templates library and create your templates with Elementor. In case you don't know how to create templates with Elementor, I'm going to link up a tutorial right up here in the card or in the description box below so that you can see how to create templates. But basically this is how my templates look like. These are the templates I'm going to choose from to display in my scroll navigation. See this is the first template and this one too and this is the one that we have already echoed and this other template right here. Okay so I'll simply close this over. Now I have my first template show up right there. The next one I'm going to do is simply to add a new item and come over here change the content source to Elementor and, and I'm going now to switch to another template and let me see how this looks like. This is the other template I'm showing right there and then I'm going to also now add another item come here to content source and I change this to Elementor template and I'm going to choose another template right down here and boom I can come back now here to my slider options and then I can even make changes to my slider uh, icons right here or I can even switch the slider direction to maybe horizontal see how this looks like now when someone scrolls through this section they will just be shown your website like this now you can use this same section or you can use the same trick to create a full website by someone basically scrolling through the different sections and boom they are done navigating your whole website but in this case i want it to be vertical and of course it's going to be full screen and in case you don't want it to be a full screen you can simply make a custom height for this section and you can also choose to show the slider navigation or even the slider pagination and even whether you want to use a scroll wheel or not so by scroll wheel it means that if someone scrolls through these sections they'll simply navigate through the sections but in case you disable that it means that someone has to click on these single sections to navigate through them so i want to simply enable the mouse wheel that will enable me to scroll through these sections and then on the other hand if you want to style up your content in case you are having custom content right in here like the text like we saw right here at the top we can make changes to our content and typography and also the pagination but in this case since we have our content being echoed right from Elementor or the templates that we created we don't have to make any changes to the typography now, now I'll come back here to the content section and then I'm going to come to slider options and I'll choose the full screen option now once you're done creating your section I'm going now to come back here and I'll delete all these sections that I had created earlier so that you only see the content that I've just created with you in this tutorial now once I hit update automatically my preview page will update here and boom this is the first custom scroll section we created and now this is the second custom scroll section we created using our elementor templates so anyway that's a simple way you can create amazing scroll sections within your elementor website for free in case you have any questions comments about this specific tutorial please let me know down in the comment box below and in case you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you like this video please give it a like thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video